Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Again, I want to apologize for the lack of uh, commentary, uh, but trust me, there'll be plenty of time for that later. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. <laughs> Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance, while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Okay, now, as he mentioned, uh, this whole area of the world is dedicated to teaching you how to do the different forms of combat. Uh, melee combat, ranged combat, and magical combat. Uh, 
but we'll get into all of that uh, when each one comes up here in a few minutes. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Come and see me when you're ready. You look tired after killing those beetles. Now this isn't going to be a 100% completion playthrough. Uh, but I'm going to do as much as I can uh, remember from all the old times that I've played the game. So you should be able to get the majority out of it. Mm, listen, I have to make an apple pie for the Guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. Thanks. Thank you so much. The Guildmaster will get his pie. Here, have this. Okay. Food like apples and pies, as well as uh, magic potions, or uh, health potions for that matter, uh, will refill your health, uh, and then your mana, uh, which you'll get later on, is refilled by mana potions. Um, and I'll show you all that in a little more detail here in a few minutes. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that! Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. Okay, now the trick to this little side quest is not to touch anything. Uh, if you touch this rock or touch another person as you're running along, it will slow you down just long enough where you'll get back with one or two seconds over the time limit you'll have to run it again. So just be extra careful not to touch anything. Amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face. The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, 
I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? Now, you want to pick up as many books as possible from bookshelves, uh, especially if you're wanting to be a good character, because uh, there's a storyline quest later on for these. No, boy. You're supposed to report to the Guildmaster, not me. You can always find out where he is by looking at your map. after killing those beetles. Your training is about to begin. But you have many hard years of tasks and preparations beforehand. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there! Now, it doesn't really matter if you beat her uh, to the uh, Guildmaster or not. Uh, but I always do anyway, just because it's really easy. Huh? Later? You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. God, I love that sound. How did that get through? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Every time! 